hello guys welcome to my youtube channel in today's video this is the final part of our pathfinding visualizer series in today's video we will be animating the a star algorithm so without further ado let's go to our a star.js file and we are going to create an array uh, we are going to name it as uh, visited nodes so this is going to be that uh, an array type this is going to hold all the nodes that we the character the each node that we are visiting so we are just gonna go here uh, under the current where we are sending the current node and we're gonna say like visited nodes dot push the current the current spot that we are visiting and that we are currently checking we are gonna push it onto our visited nodes array and after doing that uh, where we are sending the path uh, we are returning the path uh, uh, here we are just uh, we are going to uh, instead of returning the path we are going to return an object which is <coughs> which will be containing our path as well as our visited nodes since we are going to be needing those visited nodes to animate our algorithm so uh, we are going to go further down where where we cannot find a path uh, and we are returning an error so here we will also uh, uh, return our visited nodes since e if we find a path or not we are still going to be animating our algorithm that's why we are also sending it back as well so after doing that our work in a star algorithm a star .js file is done we will go to our pathfind.js file and uh, now we will be creating an another uh, state where uh, we are going to create uh, another state so we are going to name it as uh, so we will be naming it as <coughs> we will be naming it as uh, visited nodes so we are going to say like const uh, open braces and we are going to say like visited nodes then comma and then we are going to set uh, we're going to declare another variable as set visited nodes which will set the value of our visited nodes and we're going to say like it's equal to use state uh, and we are going to give it the default value of an empty array and then we will go down and where we are getting the path from the a star file we are just going to say like set path is is equal to path dot path since we are returning an object instead of uh, instead of simply returning the path so and here we will also set our visited nodes array so we're going to say like set visited nodes and we are going to set it to path dot visited nodes that we are returning from our a star dot js file then we will go further down and we are going we are where we are rendering our html we are going to render a button which will uh, which we when uh, which where when we will click on it will visualize our algorithm so we are going to say button we are going to create a button name it as visualize button you can name it whatever you like visualize path and then we are going to give it an on click event so whenever we click on that uh, but then we are going to run a function which will animate our algo which will animate our algorithm and we are going to name it as visualize path the name of the function will be visualize path and here we are going to create our function we are going to say uh, we will create a function uh, named visualize path and this is going to be an arrow function and here we will just con we are just going to console log for now to see if it if it works when we click on the button so we will say console.log visualize path visualizing visualize path we can name it whatever we like so here uh, okay mm. we're gonna restart it uh, instead of reload it and then uh, we're gonna okay wait a second what's happening here okay so we're gonna press f12 and our console will open and uh, whenever we uh, <coughs> we're gonna go to our messages and we're gonna see like when we click on the button we're gonna we will see a message uh, popping up in the console so it's uh, okay so it's working then visualizing 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 so uh, we know that our button is working now we will be uh, adding the functionality to animate our algorithm inside of it so we will go back to our editor and we will start creating so first of all we will create a function which uh, which will be responsible for uh, animating our uh, shortest path the path that the shortest path that we find from start node to end node this function will animate that path and we are going to say like we are going to name it as visualize shortest path it's also going to be an array uh, 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 arrow method not array 
and uh, in the parameters we are going to give it the shortest path the shortest path that uh, is returned from our a.js file we are going to give it as a parameter and it will work so now we will create a loop we will gonna we are going to create a for loop so we're going to say like for let i is equal to zero i is less than shortest path nodes dot length whatever the shortest path uh, nodes uh, arrays length is we are going to loop through all over it and we are going to use the uh, we are going to use a function set time out uh, this uh, will help us animate our algorithm so for now just let's just ignore this 10 multiplied by i i'm going to explain it later so for now we are just going to write the functionality which will animate our uh, algorithm shortest path instead of algorithm well it's technically algorithm as well so we are going to create a constant node and we are going to name it as shortest path nodes so there is a bit of an error here okay mm. why is it showing a red line let me see oh yeah we have to uh, we have to create a function the set timeout function first uh, takes uh, its first parameter must be n function so we are going to create an error function here we are going to say uh, we are going to go like uh, we are going we will create an error function here uh, and then inside of it we will declare our variable and now we will we are going to target we are going to use the document dot get element by id method we are going to get the element by id uh, and we are going to change its class name so we are going to say like document dot get element by id node uh, we are going to use template literal for uh, inserting the variables dynamic variables so we are going to say many sign node dot x another dash and then money sign break braces and not dot y and then we are going to get its class name class name and we are going to give it a class as node space node dash shortest dash path so this function will animate our uh, shortest path shortest path uh, uh, which uh, is returned from our a.js file we're going to copy it since the visualized path is also going to be basically sun so we, we are going to take uh, take it take the it all and copy it inside the visualized path now we are just going to alter some things instead of uh, going through the shortest path nodes we will go through visited nodes uh, all the nodes that our algorithm has visited we are going to loop through all of it and inside uh, inside our set timeout we are just going to call our visualized shortest path algorithm visual sh shortest path function and give it the path which is in our state as its parameter since that is the shortest path and uh, we are going to change the 10 to 20 we are basically this basically is a f our frame rate so like by how much frame we are going to change our animation so this here uh, is kind of like a, a delay before the next frame is drawn by our by our CSS files uh, on our DOM, so this basically is the delay between the first frame and the second frame and afterwards. So 10 means 20 milliseconds. If we're gonna multiplying it by i, so it's increasing for each node that we draw. Our uh, the, the delay is uh, kind of like increasing. So the uh, with this by doing this, our frame rate is maintained throughout our whole animation. So we are gonna here we're gonna check like if i is equal to visited nodes dot length uh, whenever our i is equal to visited node when we have visited when we have visited all the nodes only then we are going to be uh, visualizing our shortest path and in the else we are just going to we are just going to say we are we will say like we are going to copy the same thing as we did before we're going to copy it and paste it right here we're going to say like const node is equal to shortest path nodes instead of shortest path nodes we are just going to change it to visited nodes Okay. No, 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 no. Oh, yeah. We should name it as visited nodes, not current nodes, since uh, our visited nodes are uh, saved inside our visited node state. So we are going to loop through all of it, and instead of uh, shortest path, we are just going to give it the class as node node dash visited. We are going to save it, and now we will go we're gonna see everything is working fine if there isn't any mistake and then we will go to a node.css file so I'm not going to be talking about CSS as uh, how we will animate it uh, because this is uh, sol solely focused on our react type of thing how we can use react to visualize our algorithm so I'm just gonna copy 
and paste the CSS right here if you want the CSS is will be on our in the description of my uh, in this in the description of the YouTube uh, in this videos description so if you want the CSS you can just copy it paste from here so I will just uh, quickly copy and paste it so this is the CSS that we will be using for animation just gonna I'm just gonna uh, select it all and copy it and then inside our uh, node.css file I'm just gonna paste it I'm just gonna I'm just gonna check if everything is all right uh, not the something some if something is missing we're just gonna fix it here the dot is missing so we will fix it first as to not get any errors when we are visualizing it so we will go to our pathfinder.js and we are here we are also gonna see if there are there are any mistakes if there are we will fix them so I don't think I see any mistakes here so we will go to our browser and see if uh, our algorithm is working fine so let me uh, the grid is too big so we will just gonna uh, small it so we're just gonna render the 10 rows instead of 15 so we can see our whole uh, grid without scrolling down so okay when we click on visual visualize path animation happened but it is not what we want so let's see what's wrong with it we are just we are will go to our visualize uh, uh, visualize the uh, function and see if everything is right with it okay so visualize path so visualize show test path node is equal to visit oh here we have we here we have also have to use the set timeout function since that is the frame rate since every frame is drawn uh, at the same time that is why we saw that uh, weird glitch so here we are just gonna set timeout function we are also going to give it the same frame rate as before 20 multiplied by i and inside of it we will call the nodes function so if we save it now and hopefully everything should work fine okay so we can see that it's our algorithm is, is animating perfectly and our shortest path is not working okay so let's fix it oh instead of uh, going through less than we have to go uh, we have to loop through less than equal to since uh, the condition is checking for i is equal to visited node so if we fixed it now we will uh, visualize the path and here the shortest path is working now so everything is working now and the our visited nodes are animating perfectly our shortest node is animating perfectly so now we are just going to give it the we are going to create the walls since that is the main point to find the shortest path uh, where there are obstacles inside it so we're just going to create a variable name is this dot wall and give it the value of initial value of false now we will we're going to just going to check a condition to see if uh, we're going to use the math dot random function to randomly generate false on our grid so we're going to say like math dot random and if that is less than 0 0.2 0 0.2 means 20% uh, out of 100% uh, are going to be a wall randomly distributed wall so we are just going to say like this dot wall is equal to true so 20% randomly select 20% of the walls and give them the value give and uh, make them uh, walls give the initial the value of those spots is going to be wall so here we are just going to get the wall from our column our spot so we will say like is wall we're gonna name it is wall so let's fix it so we're gonna say like this dot wall not this third wall we're gonna name it as this dot is wall since we are basically checking if uh, uh, the next node is a wall or not so we have fixed it now we're just gonna uh, give it the value as well is wall sending it to the nodes dot uh, js file so we're gonna say like is wall is equal to brace in the side the braces we're gonna say is wall and inside the node.js uh, file we are gonna take it take it as a props and we, we and assign the classes necessary classes for the wall is wall so we will say like uh, let me figure it out where to use it mm. okay so let's see is start okay so we're gonna say like is wall we will say is wall and then we're gonna say question mark ternary operator we are going to use the ternary operator let's see yeah yeah ternary operator and uh, we are going to give the class as is wall and then the rest is going to be the same so here we are going to create another class as node is wall 
and we are just gonna change its background color we're just gonna give it the background color of black so background where is it background dash not clip color background color is equal to black yeah and what the hell is this no no just gonna change oh what the hell is happening here is wall yeah so it should work fine now okay so our walls have been produced but there is something weird our end node was has had become a wall so to fix this there is a very simple fix if there is a uh, this is a very simple issue to fix so we what we will do is uh, where we are getting where we are, where we are setting the end node and start node we are just going to say mm, that uh, there our start no okay let me find a place for it okay so we're gonna say like start no uh, start node we will say like start node dot is wall we're just gonna default its value to false so we're gonna say if it's true or false it's gonna be false forever either it is true either it is false when the code will run in this block it will just change to false so we don't have to worry about our start node or end node being walls since we are setting them to false by doing that we're just gonna see if everything is fine here nothing is wrong okay a star dot js file is fine oh we are gonna check to see if, uh, if we if we avoid the walls yeah we have to do this so we're gonna say like uh, we, we are checking the neighbors if our closest does not contain neighbors we're gonna say end does not the neighbor which we are going to check next is not a wall if it is a if it is a wall we are just going to ignore it we're just gonna search for another path so by doing this saving it and visualize path we can see that our algorithm is uh, avoiding the walls and finding the correct path so i hope you guys like this series this is the end uh, this uh, this project this is the end of our project in this project we took the a star algorithm and we visualized it inside of our react so uh, i'm very thankful uh, that you guys have watched it and supported me uh, i'm really sorry for that this video took so long to create because i had some personal personal issues to deal with uh, thank you very much for watching